morning everybody so I'm just sat here editing the video you are about to watch so I've arrived in Campot it is beautiful and I decide that I was going to go on a day tour on a tuk-tuk so I am sat talking to the guy on reception organizing the day trip and a young lady called Francesca comes by and says, well, I want to do that too. So we ended up sharing the tuk-tuk and going round together. We went to a cave, we went to a pepper farm. We had a whole day of exciting activities. We went and had lunch overlooking a river. Anyway, I'll stop talking and let you sit and watch the video. So we're just off on a countryside tour with our little tuk-tuk. So our first stop of the day is to a cave. You've got a choice of two to go to. You can either go to one where you pay for, which is a back cave, or you can come to this one, which is less touristy and you don't have to pay to go in. Look at that, amazing. And it looks like we're gonna climb up there and into the cave. Let's go. You can go climbing as well. Wow, look at that. And this is where we're headed, into the spooky cave. Ooh, ooh. Oh wow, look at this. Fabulous. This is certainly worth the visit. The views all the way up to the top and we're the only ones here. So I've met up with a girl from my hostel called Francesca and we're doing the tour together. Yeah, this is very, very worth it. Look up there. Right now they're in the middle of tarmacking all the roads, it's very lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not driving. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so skinny. So we've just come down to Secret Lake and now we're going to jump back on the tuk-tuk and head off towards the pepper farm to go and have a tour around there. That is La Plantation, the pepper farm, but we've decided to go to the one a little bit further up the road. And I think that very shortly this road is actually going to be tarmac because at the moment they're working really hard to fix it up. But right now it's very bumpy. So we've decided to come to this pepper farm which is called Bow Tree and it's a little less touristy than La Plantation. <laughs> yes, we made it up the rough, bumpy, rumpy road. It's us to sit on the other side of the tuk-tuk because we had to go up wow. <laughs> a really big hill. 
<laughs> and it was to balance it out a little bit more, but this is more of an adventure than going to the other one. Good choice, good choice. <laughs> so by sheer coincidence, when we arrived, we got talking to the owner and decided to sit down and have a little chat. Hello. Hello. Can Welcome you... to Bowtree Farm. Thank you very much. Can you introduce yourself? Well, my name is Christopher Gao, um, and my wife's name is Chan Kim Lee. Yeah. And together, uh, she and I bought this land and started this farm from scratch. Wow. Uh, we planted, started planting in 2012, um, and we got our first harvest in 2015. Um, so we've now been going a little while. Lovely. Um, and we're producing the what is considered by many to be the best pepper in the world. Fantastic. So why is it the best in the world? Okay, well that's obviously a claim which <laughs> you can uh, um, believe or not believe. Presently it is the only pepper in the world that's been awarded protected geographic indication like champagne and cognac. And wow, okay. So, so that is a kind of official recognition that Campo yeah. Pepper is very unique and that it can only be grown in this particular terroir in, in these particular conditions. So that's my claim. There are some other beautiful peppers from around the world. Unfortunately, yeah. the pepper industry, which 200 years ago, black pepper was worth more than gold, um, but the industry was hijacked by, by uh, countries which, who went in for massive overproduction and massive use of chemicals and artificial right. ways to okay. produce pepper. So most people regard pepper as, oh, that stuff you buy in the supermarket that you sprinkle on your food, food. which is a bit like saying, I know wine, it comes in a box. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are some wonderful peppers out there. Uh, please go and explore. Okay. Never buy pepper that's already pre-ground because two reasons. One is it starts to lose its aroma and its flavor quite quickly after you grind it up. Okay. And the other reason is that's how the producers disguise the rubbish. The stuff off the floor, uh, they sweep it up, stick it in a grinder and say, oh, here's ground pepper. So please don't ever buy ground pepper. Fabulous. That is great to know. And how long does it take from planting to getting the pepper? In a commodity growing area with nice, rich, loamy soils, you can plant. We, we plant from sapling. So we, yeah. what we do is we take a cutting from the top of uh, an existing pepper plant and yeah. we plant it. It's a vine, so okay. it needs to grow up a structure. Um, in Campot, we're required to use wooden poles, although actually we started using brick towers and then, and then uh, when the protected geographic indication status was ratified by the European Union, the, uh, the association, which is in charge of everything to do with Campot pepper, suddenly declared that, that pepper must be grown on the wooden pole in a traditional way. Okay, that's fine. We're allowed to keep our brick towers, but <laughs> we do poles as well. Um, so it grows up a structure um, and in a... In a uh, rich soil environment, yeah. um, you can harvest nine months later. The pepper will start to start to fruit. In Campot, it's not quite so easy. In Campot, our soils are actually very nutrient poor, but extremely mineral rich. So like a good wine, we need to wait. Okay. Um, so we have a three year wait before we get our first harvest. Wow, okay. And how long we're just gonna go off and do the tour? How long does the tour normally last when you come yeah. here? Well, we're very easygoing and flexible here on this farm. We don't have uh, rigid uh, schedules or structures or anything. So it really boils down to how many questions you want to ask and what you want to see. So it could be an hour or it could be half an hour. Um, it really depends on you. Perfect. Well, I'm going to go off and enjoy your pepper farm now. Thank you very much for talking to me. Pleasure. Thank you Thank for you. coming. Nice though. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. And it's spicy. Yeah, mm. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so they take a cutting and put it in water until it grows roots. And from there, they then plant it in the ground and they leave it there. And it will take three years for it to produce pepper. 
This one's been in the earth for two weeks. So this is where they bring the pepper to be sorted and processed. So in here they wash the pepper and then from there they take it to here and they boil it in there. And then from there it comes over to here and they dry it in the sun for seven days. So the green pepper will then turn into black pepper. So they will take it, they will wash it, they will boil it and then from the green, once it's dried, it will turn into black pepper. The red pepper corns from the plants will be brought, they will be washed, they will be boiled, but they don't change colour. And the yellow ones, that's the ones that they can turn into white pepper. And that is the one that is the most processed. So that's the one that they will remove the shells to. Once it boils, they will wash it again before they dry it but they all taste fairly similar. The black pepper is the strongest, then the red and white are medium. And each pepper grain has to be four millimeters in size for it to be called Kampot pepper. If it is smaller than that, then it doesn't make the grade. So out of 10 kilos of peppercorn, probably only about seven kilos get processed into Kampot pepper. The rest is sold to local restaurants. So what is this? Leaf. This is leaf. <laughs> what? Oh, turmeric. Turmeric? Yes, oh, strong. These are turmeric plants and they use the roots to make the turmeric but they can't harvest it like this. They wait until the leaves turn brown and then they just put it up by the root. This is called red long pepper, red long pepper. Or you can call another word, red papali. This pepper is from Indonesia. And if you're not feeling well, you can put this, break it up and put it into boiling water and you can use it four or five times and it will make you feel better. Looks a little bit like a carrot to me. The roads here are all under construction and what they are hoping is that it will all be finished by Christmas. Um, but it could be early next year and right now it is November 2024 so more than likely the next time you come this will be a perfect ride. We pulled over at the Lake Cafe and it's a really cute little cafe here. So you order your food there and then you go and sit down by the river at the end and they bring you your food. Reminds me how I thought this was ever going to be a good idea. I'm sweating.